Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Northern Dunedain campaign. My name is Saf and I just wanted to start off this video by apologising first for the uh, lack of uploads. They haven't been very abundant over the last several days, um, particularly over the Easter weekend as well. Uh, pretty busy, lots of things going on, particularly in the evenings. So I haven't had really much of a chance to record as much as I would have liked to. So what videos I've had left in storage ready to go upload, I've had to sort of try and spread over like one upload one day, leave a day or two break, and then upload the other video. I've been trying to spread them out, basically. Um, but now that that's all passed, that weekend's all done, um, Easter's been and gone, and everyone's eaten all the chocolate, it's about time that I get back on track with my recordings. So, the this is the second video since this weekend that has passed. I uploaded a video on Tuesday, which was the last video that I had in storage, so this is the first brand new piece of footage I have available on my computer, so... This will be uh, this will be the first of many, hopefully. So, quick recap of the last episode, then, in case you guys missed it, uh, we took a Numinous, and uh, we're working our way back to this fort here, just to get these militia guys f into free upkeep because 198 and 210 free upkeep uh, upkeep costs each, and my Dundine Rangers are a lot less than that. It's about 40 coin, 40 gold between the Dundine Rangers and the cheapest local militia units. So, that's why we're doing that. I do also plan on making the Northern Dundine campaign a lot more of a frequent uploaded series. That was really poor English, but you guys understand what I'm trying to say, so it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get uh, the, this campaign up to a point where it's a lot more. Uh, I upload it more frequently. There we go. There's the English we need. I want to do the same for the Star Wars campaign and for Andromeda as well, of course, but um, I'm going to start off with the Northern Dundon campaign because this is the Third Age series are the ones that you guys are particularly fond of, so I want to obviously get this one um, up to speed first. And then once this one's up to a point where I can comfortably upload on a regular basis for the, this one, I'll work on the next si series that I have going on, and then, of course, the third one as well. Um, there's also the faction vote video, or sorry, the campaign vote video that you guys did for replacing the Ottoman Empire. So I will be making that series at some point as well. I think at the moment it's going to look like it's going to become the Shogun 2 series. Um, I know a lot of people asked for the um, Third Age Reforged. But I've been advised that that is a multiplayer only mod. So I made an error on that upload. Uh, on, that on that faction vote video. So apologies for that. So I, th I think it's probably going to be a Shogun 2. And besides, I haven't actually played Shogun 2 for a number of years. It'd be quite nice to go back then. We've got three different campaigns for Shogun 2 to choose from. So um, I might choose Fall of the Samurai. Maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll start with the regular. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm thinking Fall of the Samurai because I, I really enjoyed that campaign above the other two. So that's that's kind of where I'm thinking. Let's speed this up now. Oh, 900 coin. Yeah, why not? So that's kind of interesting. Um, I don't want to do, obviously do too many of those kinds of introductions to my videos where I talk about loads of things that aren't necessarily related to this gameplay. Uh, I just kind of had to do it because this is the first video since the Easter weekend. Wow, Barrow White. Oh, wow, look at that. Fighting nearby enemies, see morale below. May charge without orders, excellent stamina. You don't get to see the stats. Locked morale. Um, impetuous. Armor class medium. They look pretty awesome. I've never actually seen those guys in battle, so... The Dunland clans are going to have their work cut out for them there, I believe. Still working our way to being able to recruit stuff here. It's going to take a lot of waiting. I mean, look at this. 14 turns before we can even get any of the Cardolan units. Let alone the Rangers. So Finesse and Junin has upgraded. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 362 to upgrade you. Really? Wow. Uh, 4,500 for the next population. We're at 1.5%. I could... If I did this on low, we'd drop to 3... We'd go up to 
But our income gets hit by 300 gold. That's 140, 240. So 340 gold would be lost per turn if we go down. And 1.5% is fine. I've got a lot of stuff to build in the meantime, including some sheep farming, which increases our population growth by 1% anyway. So we're going to stick to the very high tax rate. Once Anuminas becomes our economic powerhouse, that's when we can start yes, my lord. messing around a bit more with the upkeep costs. I'm gonna stick you. Well, that's annoying. Let's go occupy that. We'll see if we can hold it. I might get this unit to march that way, and maybe maybe we can get to the fort before the orcs decide to attack us. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. If I do this. Okay. So Morvatarth looks like it's going to get attacked at some point soon. Who's that? Morthold the Hillman. What's your bodyguard? Rudor, Rudour Archers. Okay. And then we've got Snagog. And then we've got Captain Zun. So we've got a lot of enemy troops surrounding us here. Um... Hmm. Well, let's. Sorry if you can hear a dog barking in the background. Let's push him away. Normally, I can't see what he has. Spy. Scout for me. Wag skirmishers, wag riders. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of feeling like we should go ahead and attack him just to clear him out because otherwise, if these guys all join up. Although. To be fair, if these guys join up with these guys, it wouldn't be the it wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, we can deploy stakes to take care of the wargs. So that's with our uh, Dunedain Rangers. Hmm. Rudal Scout Cavalry there. Um, let's do it. We shall we'll take care of one of these one of these forces. Attack. Relieve the pressure we have on Morvatarth. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, we're in woodland, which is a pain in the ass. I hate fighting in woodland. That's two percent down. Goblin band and orc halberdiers are over here. These wags are what I need to focus on. Okay, so they're actually marching towards me, which is quite good. Wags are not coming into range. Where are the wag skirmishers? There's the wag riders. Wait, what's this over here? There they are. Off on my flank. 
I see. Right, well. Just gotta keep an eye on my flank over there then. In fact, I'm gonna take one of you. There. are getting closer. Not quite in range yet. There we go. Now they're in range. Right, just focus on them. Alright, let's hold fire with you guys for the moment. Let's pull back up here. March my troops forward, bring my rangers back here. I'll tell you what, those skirmish wags are not having a fun day right now. Shield wall. Alright, here we go. You three fire on them. Fire on them. Slow this charge down. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Definitely slow them down. Come on, move, 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 move. Intercept the wags. Oh wow, we really did slow them down a lot. Pull that ranger unit back. Hold fire. You guys are being attacked by the general, which is not fun. Right. Shoot those last few wags there. Taking care of these skirmishers here. With all of our archers. In fact, Rangers, you shoot that general right there. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Oh. They got a few of my guys there. Down to two though. Made that zero. Right. These archers head that way. You go in there. Let's pull my guys up here. them. So we've lost 14% so far. I think most of them are to the uh, this wo woodland hunter unit, unfortunately. Just fire everything you got into that bodyguard. Damn, this Woodland Hunter unit is getting wrecked. <laughs> so we got these guys down to their last wag. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, fighting is doing okay over here at the moment. Shoot that one guy retreating. Keep running. We're just putting all the arrows into this general right now. Look at that, down to 13. 12. Oh, they're just getting wrecked now. Five. Four, three, two, one. It's just the general left now. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Come on, kill him. There's four units shooting at him. How can he not be dead yet? With all the arrows he's taking. There's just there's just a cloud of blood around him. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. No way. You guys are fast. Go get them. There we go. Thank God for that. Fire a few more volleys into these routing halberdiers here. Here come all the other arrows. Four left. Three left. Two left. These guys are screaming a lot. One left. Can we get him? Oh, this is tense. Come on, Rangers. I need to take out like seven of them. Can't get this one guy. Come on, look at all the arrows. How is this guy not dead yet? Oh, that's just embarrassing. Well, I'll just quit it there. Be awed by the victory we have won here today. Mm, 148. It's a little bit steeper than I'd have preferred. Um, but then again, I don't. I think I kind of forgot the tactics of the Northern Dunedain and kind of didn't move my archers around enough. I just kind of pulled them back a little bit on the hill. That was uh, that was a big mistake, and I lost a lot of woodland hunters doing that. So I paid the price for my mistake there. It's still a victory. Looking at one enemy general as well. Yes, my lord. Okay. We've gained a few woodland hunters back. Not a lot, though. 170. Uh, hold on. 145. 170. Okay. Well, what am I do? Wait, how much do they upkeep? 215. Get some pikemen. And we'll send my Cardinal Rangers and my Pikemen northwards. Help with more of a tarth if we can survive long enough up there. I think actually I may have to kind of combine my forces and head north. 
Okay, Fornos Terrain is going to have some issues soon. So if I can get these guys into Fornos Terrain to defend against this, that of course would be ideal. Must make a stand. We are besieged. All right, so we're out number two to one on this occasion, and they have cavalry. Okay, so they did have cavalry. I knew they had this one Rudal scout, but I didn't know what else they had. All of this was hidden. Um, so they've got three infantry and three cav. Cav, four infantry, three cav. Sorry, should be pretty easy actually. All right, let's make a save on the backup and jump right in. We'll have to make this the final battle of the episode. Do love the uh, Medieval 2 music. Look at this kind of setup. Oh, this is just disgusting. Look at this. Look at it all. Okay, so how am I going to defend? <laughs> right, okay. Um, so if I... So I can deploy... Here. So I can do a small amount. Of stakes here. Because apparently I can't come, I can't spawn my guys across this way at all. Well, I can do that apparently. Well, that's a bit better. It's right in the middle, so any cavalry comes through there should get run down. Uh, on this side, this is a bit easier by looks of things. If I can angle it a bit better. That'd be good. That's perfect. That's damn near perfect. Right, so that's that. Those are the only two units that can deploy stakes for me, unfortunately. Uh, right, so... The woodland Hunters, of course, on top of here. I say of course, it's not exactly obvious necessarily, but, you know, I do that. That. Keep out of sight. Assemble the men. We'll protect the lands. Onward, advance. Watch this area. Move out. Assemble the men. Unit. I lay in the trees. Stand forward. Stay down. Archers. So the only thing that could go wrong is if the cavalry goes all the way around the back here. But they're not. They're going straight for the middle. Straight into the stakes. And they've gone straight for the middle down here as well. Straight into the stakes again. Look at that. How... Stupid can you be? Alright, we need all archers shooting down into the infantry down there, please. Enemy cab is down to 31. That's 22% of the enemy force already dead. Alright, 
let's bring our infantry over here. Right, let's get all my archers shooting the Snaga Stalkers right in the middle of everything. So it'll be nice up and over, nice and up and over my all my troops down here, and it will take out a lot of uh, other units that are around those Snagas. The enemy's already up to forty-three percent casualties. <laughs> the battle's barely even started. Wardens are holding. Fifty-two percent. Three. Start shooting the stuff at the back now, actually. Now that the pile's getting smaller. 61%. In fact, I tell you what, let's take these two units. And go round. Go flank. Keep the other three shooting. Bring around the back here. Might get these guys to hold fire now, just in case they have caused some friendly fire. Jeez, look at the mess. How dumb do you have to be to just drive all three of your cavalry units through wooden stakes? I mean, look how much damage they took over here alone. And then, of course, they all just went straight into the middle of all this lot and died. Wow. Let's open fire on this slot now. Oh, orc fellas are routing. Fire at will. Oh my goodness, look at the Jesus. Look at this. That'll do. Wow. 41. Seven, uh, 16 friendly fire casualties. Six, nine for the Cardinals, Sentinels, a uh, Cardinal and Sentinels, sorry. And Dunedain Wardens took seven. So 11 casualties were enemy inflicted and 21 were enemy inflicted. 222 kills for Woodland Hunters, 239 for the Rangers. 174 for the other Woodland Hunters and 110 for the other Rangers. Bodyguard got 91. Pretty good result, pretty good result. Gandalf's arrived. Yes, Hello, and you've got a lot of stuff. Enidwaith on Breland. Look 
at this. If you guys want to read this, I'll um, stay on the screen for about three seconds. And then I'll sc uh, scroll down and hold for another three seconds. So if you want to pause the video to read all this, then please do, because I'm not going to read through all of it. Okay. Right. So we've got a Ranger's Hall and a Numinas. Lovely. We'll repair that. Your orders, my lord. Nice bit of a garrison there. Well. Yes. Now we have some extra units. Where are we going to go? I need to find whatever the province, the settlement is for this province, because there's a cast, there's a fortress there, which is this border here. But what's in this one? See, the line goes across there somewhere. So somewhere around here is another Greetings, province. Most noble ally. Well, seeing as you guys aren't free upkeep, I might combine Lord. them with Gandalf the Grey's forces. Yes, my lord. Aragorn's not free upkeep. Oh, we take him out though, he goes the income drops to over a thousand. Urf. Yes, my lord. Now we'll take we'll take Aragorn as well. Lovely. So we got because what I've been advised is that Gandalf and Aragorn are both uh one men armies. So if we've got two one men armies and then a load of archers in tow, then that should be pretty a pretty decent force. Yes. Right. So let's take four units there. I'll we'll take these three. Should I take these three? Take these three into the fort there. So that's a bit of free upkeep. Leftovers. Okay. Diplomat. Oh, forgot. We need to go speak to Isengard. Oopsies, forgot about that. Yes, my lord. Without question, stopping here. Well, we're gonna fail that mission. <laughs> There's still rebel provinces to the south here. Unfortunately, I can't recruit any more spies to go having a look. Oh well. Oh, perhaps we should actually improve Finas Drunin first. Alright, ten flip. And then we'll call it a day. Surrounded us. We are besieged. Oh dear. Have a taste of my blade. I'm three, seven you. units there. I've got one ranger plus the three uh, local defenders. Yes, my lord. 
Yes. We can go no further, my lord. My lord. Some more day. troops coming up. Might take one of these archers back. I'm gonna stick you. In fact, I might take all of these guys back. As you wish. Yeah. 666 income still. That's good. Ah, there it is. Nochva Ruglor. I remember your name from my Angmar attempt. Oh, I remember you. So that's the province that we need to take next, then. Nochva Ruglor, I believe, was the impression I was doing every, every time I pronounced that name. Because I'm just incredibly awesome. So we're going to take, take that, then. That's going to be our next target. Hopefully that will keep this our territory in a nice line up here um, more or less it. Where's my diplomat? Lord. There he is. And the mission objective is there. Yes, my lord. Well, we still made it. Something I can do for you? We have no complaint. Something else you'd like to suggest? Goodbye. We look forward to... Without question. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Two woodland hunters here. Okay. Well... Your will, my lord. My lord. Hmm. I guess I'll put one of them over here. To help with the garrison. They can get cavalry now though. Dunedain scouts. 210 upkeep. I can get some Cardlan riders, which is 200. Might be quite useful to get some of those. So I might wait until my the next friend, turn flip just to see what my income per turn is going to be like. I wonder if I should get I would just get rid of this unit, but it's level 3 experience. Kind of valuable. I wonder if I'll just send him up to the fort there. My lord speaks highly of you. Orders. Hmm. Let's just let's focus on buying a ranger unit first. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's not do that because I'm saving up. The tiny little bit of money now that I need so I can get this Dunedain encampment. At yes. a Numinous. Alright. Right, guys, that's all the time I've got for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any tips, any suggestions, then please let me know in the comments below and I will read through your suggestions and thoughts. Uh, next objective is Rockla uh, Rockva Raglor. That's going to be our next target. A nice little. Uh, Angmar village and we will hopefully be able to conquer that swiftly. We'll move my spy northwards to see what the fortress is like over here. Just keep an eye on this uh, this general here as well. He's not posing too much of, to be too much of a threat at the moment but we don't know so we're just going to be a little bit careful there. And I think next episode we're going to end up fighting at Fornost Arrain for a second time uh, defending again hopefully with the same object the same um the same tactics we used last time will help us out. We have a lot less archers, though. We only have the one ranger unit against whatever this army is made up of. So unless I brought these guys over to help out, I don't know. But I might just keep them where they are. There's no point. But yeah. So that's about it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you all in the next episode.